In this procedure, we will be replacing the mechanism on a theater seating power recliner. The tools required for this procedure are one to two people depending on the task, an electric drill, an appropriate drive bit, a socket adapter bit, a drill bit extension, a 10 millimeter socket, a 7 16 inch socket, a cutting tool, and zip ties. First, raise the back flap of the seat to expose the backrest wires and latches. Utilizing another person, pull the tabs on the latches out on both sides of the seat cushion while lifting the back cushion up and off from the seat. Disconnect the two wire connections found in between the back and the seat cushion. Place the back cushion aside on a clean surface for reinstallation. Now extend the footrest. If the chair is equipped with an LED, disconnect the LED harness. And then slide the LED off the mechanism base and set aside. Unplug the seat from its power source. And turn the seat on its side. Cut the hook and loop attaching the harness to the bottom of the seat. Now, cut the zip ties holding the harness to the mechanism base. Then disconnect the motor wire. Now you can flip the seat upside down. Next, remove the four bolts holding the mechanism base to the footrest kick plate. There are two on each side. Then remove the four nuts holding the mechanism base to the seat, two on each side. Sometimes the seat frame is made of wood and you will need to remove the screws instead. Lift the mechanism base up and set aside. If equipped, remove the footrest stabilizer from the original mechanism and install on the new mechanism. Then you can place the new mechanism base upside down with the footrest retracted on the seat. Install previously removed nuts or screws holding the mechanism base to the seat.
Next, connect the motor wire, and then zip tie the wire holding it in place to the mechanism base. Then connect the AC-DC power adapter wire. If the chair is equipped with an LED, slide the LED on the mechanism base. And then plug in the LED harness. Set the seat on its side and extend the footrest. Now install the four bolts, two on each side, holding the footrest kick plate to the mechanism base. Then flip the seat right side up and retract the footrest. Next, connect the two power wire connections in between the back and seat cushion. and then slide the back cushion down into the seat latches until they click into place. And finally, hook and loop the back flap closed.